Hey guys, so I got a request from a, someone I just met, Reg, Regius Imperial. Probably spelled, pronounced that wrong. We're gonna keep moving. So, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, this is gonna be about how you were to, say, sell a sword, a weapon, an item from an NPC using dialogue. Of course, it doesn't have to be just from an NPC, like a character. It can be in, say, a block. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different things how to do with this. So, I've already gone ahead and made a little guy named Frank. Get some black hair. All right. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make Frank sell us a sword. So I'm gonna go ahead real quick and just get a free get a sword. Just use one of Roblox's swords. All right. So here we have the sword. All right. We're gonna put this in the lighting for later. All right. So what we're gonna be using obviously is dialogue. So what we're gonna want to do first is get some dialogue. You can use that through the advanced objects. You can get through studio, insert, advanced objects, dialogue, you can get the thing. Alright, so now we're going to go to the properties of this. We're just going to jump straight, jump straight into this. So, you're going to want a dialogue choice, which you're going to have to insert this again too. So now whenever you um, talk, you have the options. Okay, don't make the options empty. It will yell at you. Do they know? Alright. So, use your dialogue. Let's just make it say dot dot dot. And then the response dialogue is your response. And then user dialogue is their response to your response. I think. I might be wrong on that. Oh, forgot to do the initial prompt, sorry. Why, well, hello. Alright, so now he says hello. Alright, so I was wrong. Alright, use your response, use your dialogue. I, I walked myself into that. Your response and then response dialogue is how they respond. Sorry about that. Quick mistake. I don't usually use dialogue that option that often. So, alright, so we're just going to name this test. We're going to make a second one to call it um, the sword. I want to buy a sword. That'll be um, 73. 73 Jenkins. I don't know. We're going to call it 73 Jenkins. I want to buy a sword. That'll be 73 Jenkins. Alright, so now that we have that... Alright, so we're going to add two more options. Yes or no. We're going to call it Deny Sword and Buy Sword. Get Sword. Enjoy and no thanks, you're lost. So, I already gone ahead and obviously made it so we can buy a sword. Buy a sword that'll be 30 73 Jenkins. Alright, enjoy. Alright, so now that we have that, we want to make it so we can actually get the sword. In this case, I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to make it so it charges us money. Which we're gonna use Jenkins, of course. Jenkins. Just give us an S. Alright, um, so this. This is a server side run script. This, you're gonna have to use a regular script, not a local script. If you guys have seen my, some of my previous videos, I have gone over a local script compared to a regular script and kind of the differences between them. So we're gonna jump straight over that. So, I'm gonna. I have, I have the help wiki open. I'm going to jump straight over to the dialog options for the help wiki and show you guys what we're going to be doing. So it does pretty much explain like what a dialog is. If you guys don't know that, I'll be going over that in another video. I'm going to scroll down here. We have some events. In this case, we're going to be using the event dialog choice selected. Should make a copyright. Created by one size. 
It is the 21st and 14. Buy a sword via dialogue. Event description. Yes, I realize I don't need the dashes inside of the double brackets, but that's fine. So we have dialogue choice selected. That's going to be how we connect it. So instance player would be which what do you want to call the player that's using it, and then instance dialogue is what choice you're choosing. So. Say we have function chatted. So now we have our player and then what we want to call a dialogue choice. So we're going to just call it the dialogue. Alright, so now that we have that, whatever we put in here would be the dialogue, obviously. So script.parent. That dialogue choice selected connect chatted. So that's this is the event dialogue choice selected, which is a member of our dialogue. So we have that so we can so we know when to run the script. So just to be sure, we're gonna print player and we're gonna print the dialogue. And let's see what happens. If nothing went wrong, it should work. So, your response. Pring. My mistake. Sorry, guys. Quick typo. Alright. Why, hello. Your response. So, basically, it prints the player, our player's name and then the name of what we just selected. So, you, using that, what you can do is say using an if statement, which I have done a video over, so saying if the dialog, this would be the dialog that we're looking for, dot name, we're looking for a specific dialog. In this case we have get sword. So dialog name that get sword is equal to get sword. Then we run whatever in here. So whenever we choose get sword as an option, we run this. So let's print get the sword. Just so you guys can see that it works. So say we go to Frank, your response, test, how they respond. Alright, so it prints tests, so you guys see that works. Did not mean to go click that, so I want to buy a sword. That'll be 73 Jenkins. Alright, get the sword. So you hit right here. So that you know that worked. Alright, so in this case, I have actually put the value inside my player for Jenkins. I didn't really need to do it, but I'm going to show you guys something with this. If player.jenkins.value is less than 73. This is how you can change the um, text if like you have less money. The dialog dot response dialog equals sorry you don't have enough. Else if player dot Jenkins dot value is greater than seventy three, then the dialog dot response dialog is equal to. Thanks for the business. Take your blade. The response to Oh, whoops. Alright. Why, hello. I want to buy a sword. That'll be 73 Jenkins. So we're going to make them, we're going to give ourselves two right, 12 right now. See if it worked. So player, that's why. I actually made player capital.
This is just so it removes 75 Jenkins. 73, whoops, my mistake. So, why, hello. I want to buy a sword. That would be 73 Jenkins. Alright. Sorry, you don't have enough. So that's how you make it say if say you don't have enough. So let's go ahead and make it so we have enough Jenkins. Just so you guys see. I want to buy a sword. That'd be 73 Jenkins. Alright. Thank you for your thank you for the business. Take your blade. Alright, this is where you would say, um, make it so you get the blade. Sorry, equals game that lighting that classic sword in this case. Clone sword that parent equals basically this clones the sword from the lighting and then moves it to then you take that clone's parent and make it to your player's backpack. So you get the tool. Why hello. I want to buy a sword. That'd be 73 Jenkins. Alright. Here's your blade, and we just bought a sword. It's pretty simple. As I said at the beginning of the video, though, it doesn't have to be just in, say, a player with a humanoid. It can be in, say, a part with no humanoid, and it all still works. Like, watch. 73 Jenkins, alright. Doesn't really matter what it's in. It'll still work. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description to New Era Studios. I'll be leaving a link in the description to the model itself of Frank so you guys can actually get it and use it if you guys want. Of course, you need to edit a little bit. Credit to Regius Imperial for telling me to do the tutorial. It took a bit longer than I wanted it to because I just don't explain it in. You guys all made a few mistakes, but. If you guys have any other suggestions that you guys think you want to see, other videos that you want me to remake, make it a little bit better, just message me and I'll get on to it. Subscribe, leave a comment, have a good night.